you. I'm, like, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I cannot wait to be with the crowd to watch this that's, watch this show. That's exactly what I was going to ask. Like, what are you most excited for people to see? <sighs> I, I, I want them to uh, come in knowing what to expect and being wrong. <laughs> we put a real focus on it. Um, and I feel somehow we've made the painful moments hurt even more. So I guess I'm looking for the, the cries of anguish and pain in the audience. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to They're going to be coming for me, at least. Yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, what do you love about being here at Fantastic Fest? Well, we've had a busy day that included painting. Uh, I love meeting people and talking. I, I love hearing, I love talking to you about what, you know, we go away and we, we're in a lab, we're in a bunker for, for so long, for this season in particular. And you kind of like lose track and are like, I, this is good. I think it's good, right? So getting to hear how much you enjoyed it and how angry you were with us. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, I, know. I have yet to forgive you. Yeah, you know, we're performers still. So <laughs> like we want to the, the, see the smiles on your faces and the gasps. Amazing. I love it. And then spoiler free, what can you tease for people what they'll see with Vax this season? Uh, well, he's hard to see in general. So you have to look. Uh, you're going to see him have a little happiness. If you can believe it, with everything going on. He'll grab a little bit of happiness. I can't say where or when or how long it'll last, but it's there. <laughs> he deserves it, I think. He does, he does. He works real hard. I was going to say, he's worked hard for it. Yeah. And then what are you uh, most excited about this entire season that you can talk about? I know. The back end is just going to wreck y'all in so many different ways for different reasons. Um... And it's real hard to talk about. I know it really is. It really is. Yeah. Um, I I love where the the two romances of our show. There's really three, but uh, two of them are more heavily in focus this season. And I I love how they kind of weave around each other and I, and where they go. Yes. And then final question. I got to ask a little bit about Mighty Nine. Yes. But like, what are you most excited about bringing that? And do you feel like uh, you know doing Vox Machina has really helped you guys? Oh, prepare for that. Yeah, yeah. Even at the table, Vox Machina kind of opened our eyes to what was possible. So when we, from the jump with Mighty Nine, uh, we were like taking bigger swings and reaching for like deeper, deeper characters. You know, I just was like, I'm the rogue in the beginning of Vox Machina. <laughs> so we came at it with a, a little more of an involved take. And kind of the same is true for animated because we learned the ropes with Legend of Vox Machina. And from the jump with Mighty Nine, we had, you know, we had reps at bat and an understanding of what we wanted to do and how we wanted to switch things up from Box Machina, give it its own identity, which we have, ah. for sure. Well, I can't wait for that. And I can't wait to see it on the big screen tonight. I'm so excited. I, I, I might be more excited. I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> thank you so much for your yeah, time again. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see good you. Good to see you, too. Again. Good to Hi. see you. Now I, got a fancy mic. I know I'm so fancy you. now, right? And you look fancy to now too. <laughs> a little wardrobe change from this morning. I love it. That's good. <laughs> so I want to ask you, what are you most excited about seeing this on the big screen with a crowd tonight? A hundred percent, everyone's reactions. Hey. Uh, we worked so hard and for so long mm -hmm. over these shows <laughs> that it's easy to kind of get caught up in just the stress of making it and everything is always leading up to these moments of the premieres of having the audience respond to it mm -hmm. and doing it in a theater full with a bunch of fans that's I mean it's just so much better than watching it alone at home which is also great don't yes. get me wrong <laughs> but getting to experience everyone's reactions in real time I can't wait. <laughs> and then what do you love about being here at Fantastic Fest? This has been such a great festival. I'm honestly bummed that we're not able to stay longer <laughs> and actually get to enjoy it. I am a longtime fan of horror, of course a fan of fantasy and any other type of genres. So I wish, you know, next time we come back, I think I might have to book a little bit more time to go experience more of it myself. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. This is my second one and it's been it's been a blast. Ugh. Jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta know about it now. Well you have to right. bring like Mighty Nine here maybe. A hundred percent. And like the others. Bit. We'll bring we'll bring the other half of the crew too. Exactly. I know, yeah, but that's okay. You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> Holding down the fort, the three of you. Good. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so uh, spoiler free, what can you tease about Keyleth's journey this season? What can I tease about Keyleth's journey this season? Spoilers. She steps into her own, especially as a leader this season. And while she may 
have people who have their doubts in her, she learns to overcome that and really trust in herself. I think she learns to trust in herself, which then helps her be able to trust in others as well as the rest of her teammates. Yeah, it's very empowering. It is very empowering. That's literally a word I use for yeah certain episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I will say. <laughs> It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's good stuff. It's great stuff. Yeah. The Kilo, all the Kilo stands are going to eat this season. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, and then I want to ask you about in going into Mighty Nine. Do you feel like doing this, the animation for Vox Machina, has helped you guys? You know, bringing in the animation of Mighty Nine. Absolutely. I mean, we were really just kind of cutting our teeth on Legend of Vox Machina, and there's always a learning curve, especially when you're jumping into a new medium. You know, we're just a bunch of dorks and you know, voice actors who had a love and appreciation for this and then you know we got thrown into the deep end of making an animated show and we're taking all of those learning lessons and bringing it into Mighty Nine and of course got to give a shout out to Titmouse who are just incredible partners and we're so lucky to have them as our as our main animation studio. Yeah, how fun has it been to like see your character come to life you know what I mean? Oh man it, I mean it's so surreal real because it's you know these characters they started out just living in our heads when we were just playing just us in our living rooms at home and then there was a whole other layer once we started streaming the show and she began living in the minds of everybody else of our audience and of course we've seen art of Keyleth yeah so much gorgeous fan art it's incredible we've seen her in comic books but seeing her seeing her move seeing the, her power seeing everything realized and once again all of the animators they get it they grok her they take good care of us <laughs> take good care of my girl well I want to ask you too about Sideshow because I mean the statues that you guys are gorgeous oh so Matt, Matt and I have been going to Comic Con for a decade plus. Matt's been going to Comic Con for like two decades. I, all, I mean, all of us. And one of the mandatory stops at San Diego Comic Con is the Sideshow Collectible booth because it's like it's like a mini museum in the yeah. middle of Comic Con. And I remember I would always look at them, and I remember thinking at the time of having like $25 in my bank account, like, one day I'll be able to afford a collection of Sideshow <laughs> statues. Little did I know... You are we, one. Well, I, we are one. I, I, am, I am one. I am Sideshow. I am not Sideshow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, when we toured Sideshow and we got a sneak peek at our statues for the first time... There, we were all teary. It was so emotional. It's just, yeah, amazing. Like I said, we all started out as dorks, and we're <laughs> right. still dorks. So right. we still have those dorky reactions. It's great. That's perfect. Never change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations on everything, and I'm so excited to get to see it on the big screen tonight. Thank so. you, Tessa. Thank you so much. You're the best. Oh, you're the yeah. best. <laughs> Hello again. Hi. Good to see you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this on the I'm big so screen. Stoked. I'm so stoked. We're here. We're going to do it. It's going to be loud. It's going to be a big picture. Oh, I'm ready. I want to hear I want to hear people's reactions. I might just turn around in my seat and look backwards. That would be fun. You should yeah. do that. I think we should. I, I mean, I've you've seen, seen the episode. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. I know, I know what happens. <laughs> so how exciting is it for you to be here at Fantastic Fest? We are so jazzed. I mean, we've always loved Fantastic Fest. Austin is the absolute bomb. I mean, we got barbecue last night. I know exactly where it is in my intestinal <laughs> trap. But really, it's the thing that we've been looking forward to the most is getting in front of our fans, hearing what people think of it. It was a, a bit of a break between season two and three. Hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. But man, season three is really where we start to shake things up, where some lasting ramifications start to take effect. So uh, I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to, to what, what people think and, and hearing conspiracy theories about what might come next. Mm, I love it. So without spoilers, what can you tease about Grog's journey this season? 
Well, we saw in season two, Grog had a big backstory reveal. Heard of Storms, his Uncle Kevdak, all that horribleness and how he found Pike, you know, the mm -hmm. beginning of his found family. And, and we saw Pike really trying to take care of Grog. And I think season three, we're going to flip that a little bit. We see Grog trying to take care of Pike, make sure she's good. One of the nice things about this season is that uh, Pike gets woven into the story more than she was in our, our live stream campaign, which is going to be really delicious. Uh, but it also means that Grog's just going to have to keep tabs on his buddies, which is maybe not something that he's super familiar with or used to doing. Um, and other than that, he's just stoked that it continues to come with bigger and badder monsters to smash and butt heads against. I think he might be the only person in the party is when doom and gloom rolls around the corner. He's like, yes! <laughs> He might even come up with a plan, maybe, at some point. He know. might. Hmm. His little inner statistician, <laughs> uh, statistician, statistician, strategist, that one, <laughs> will come out involuntarily. He's also a statistician. One plus one equals seven. <laughs> That sounds exactly like yeah. Grog. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk to you about Sideshow because, yeah. I mean, these statues are gorgeous. I only have one, My but heart. I'm trying to build... They're expensive. I, it, was, it was the first thing. So when we were like, who are, who are the most amazing licensing partners that we could work with? And I was like, Sideshow. Mm -hmm. Sideshow Collectibles. Just because every year we go to San Diego Comic-Con, the first place we go is that booth. They're works of art. And I have also had the same dream of like one... One day in my Willy Wonka Bruce Wayne mansion that doesn't exist, I will own every <laughs> sideshow piece. And uh, they, I, we were so stoked that they said yes, and we've just been thrilled to watch every new iteration roll out between Vox Machina and Bell's Hells, and it's just a little dream come true. It's one of those things you put on the shelf and you just kind of giggle at when you see it. I know. I mean, they're beautiful. They are. They really, really are. I can't imagine like seeing it and being like, "That's the character I came up with." Yeah, and also it, it was. They were so great to work with. They sent uh, you know a bunch of concept art for the statue of various poses. We picked one, and then even in the process, their collaboration is so great. I said, "Would it be possible if for Grog there were like a bunch of arrows sticking out of his arms and body?" And they said, "Yes, we could do that." So. <laughs> It's just great, you know, seeing that big behemoth come to life like that. I love it so much. Yeah. What are you most excited for fans to see tonight here at Fantastic Fest? Boy, tonight, well, you know, the vestiges of Divergence have been around since last season. Um, I think some of those are going to be used in an interesting way, and maybe we'll meet some interesting siblings of those items. Uh, but also, I, I just ready for fans to get off of the continent of Tal'Dorian into a new location, which has been teased in our in our trailer, and so we're going to uh, okay. visit Mar Catch and on Corel, uh, and just uh, see what happens there. I'm sure it's just a, a quick stop and go, maybe a little resort time, a pool and a margarita, a marg, margi, <laughs> and uh, then they'll be back home. I'm sure nothing wrong will happen. Of course, nothing wrong ever happens to Vox Magna. No, 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 no never. And I'm sure no one else is trying to achieve the things they're achieving. No. Items of great power draw no interest from anywhere else. Of course not. It's yeah. just easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. Like no, walk no. in the park. Right, exactly. I want to ask you, uh, how much did the animation, like doing animation for Vox Machina, help you in doing it for Mighty Nine? So it, it was invaluable. I think there was a massive learning curve in the beginning just because we had to learn half hour scripts for animation. Having seven characters on screen can be a challenge when people are writing it, uh, drawing rather, in 12 frames a second. And so we sort of adapted the way that the stories would be told, but we also found it was uh, simple when it came to focus and sort of dividing the party up a little bit, which can be counterintuitive to how playing is. You know, we never try to split the party, but you have to here. And I think it, I think it gives really good focus. And then we also really started to take chances with this season, which is what I'm so excited for people to see in how the stories are delivered, how the timeline moves, and how we can surprise fans that I think really feel like they know what's supposed to happen next. We want to keep them guessing, and that's what I think what should happen with a, a beloved IP like this. So with Mighty Nine, um, instead of starting with them all together, we got more of a Session Zero feel. It's grittier, it's darker. Uh, it's got a different format, although I won't go into what that means just yet. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully next year, late, maybe 2025, we get it. So um, we're, we're really, really excited about it. And obviously those characters are, you know, they've got a whole other group of people that just love Mighty Nine as much as Vox. So and we're trying to find a way in for anybody that happens to find either show. Perfect. And you can bring it to Fantastic Fest, maybe. A hundred percent. As long as the rest of the cast comes this time and gets their burnt ends and their wet brisket. You just, you know. <laughs> they left it to the three of you. What I, they there was really only enough food for the three of us. <laughs> I feel bad for Liam. He was from New Jersey and was like, what is this? It's heaven. It's heaven on a plate. 
<laughs> I love it. Well, congratulations. Thank and I'm so excited to see it on the big screen. Yeah, so. Me too. Yeah. We'll talk afterwards. Yes, okay. 100%. Okay. Awesome.